Then, ready to hit the books again, Gohan? I sure you want to continue this story, you'll probably be this... Man, That's yeah. what I like to hear. You should study up and surprise your father with your genius when he gets back. Yeah, sure thing. Hurry back, Dad. We miss you. Roughly a year and a half had passed since the fight with the dreadful Frieza. But there was still no sign of Goku returning to Earth. The world had entered a period of peace. That peace, however, was to be short-lived, as a new threat was rapidly approaching the planet. Android the Cell Saga starts. Android Terror arrives. Oh, everyone's here already? Krillin, you felt it too, right? It's Frieza and someone else with enormous power like his. Yeah, kind of hard not to notice. There's no way we're gonna miss a massive energy reading like that. This can't be good. Do you really think it's Frieza? Well, sure seems like it. They'll know we're here if you don't quit your foolish babbling and lower your power levels. They have scouters, after all. The Namekian's already lowered his. At least one of you is smart. Piccolo! <laughs> They're here! We're gonna, we're gonna get trunks in our party. Teach your trunks. <laughs> they landed over there. It's Let's go. Lisa. It's gotta be. I can't believe he's still alive. No, hold on. Go ahead. Yeah. I think there's someone else with him. <laughs> Do not the fly plan, them, got it? We can avoid scouter detection by simply walking up to them. You, you guys have actually fought against someone with this much power? You gotta be kidding me! What are we supposed to do once we get close to him? You'd rather stay back here and rot, is that it? Suit yourself. All of us know what we're up against. Just to be perfectly clear, Earth is completely done for. This... this can't be happening! You can't fly. You can't fly. Or you cannot fly. Or fly. Okay. I came to get a peek at that Frieza guy. I never got a chance. Have to think we're going up against him. Damn that Kakarot! Why didn't he fail? How in the world did Frieza survive? You actually held your own again. He's unbelievable. First, we'll move in. On foot, of course. Man, the closer we get, the heavier the air seems to get. We're almost at his ship. Are you sure you're ready for this? Yes. So this is Earth. I've seen worse hunks of rock. It seems this Super Saiyan Goku you keep going on about is set to arrive here in three hours. So you intend to wait for him, Frieza? Why, of course, father. But I want him to suffer for what he did to me, so I think I'll slaughter every last one of his beloved Earthlings. Damn. I couldn't care less about the Earthlings, but we do absolutely need to rid ourselves of that Super Saiyan. By any means necessary. King Cole. Gonna get him to... I think we need him to... So you're gonna get now Frieza and mm. you no. Know, can we can request to fight against Frieza again? What get? brings you here, Earthling? I'm here to kill you. Uh, 
the mysterious savior from, from the future. Go ahead. What's that now? You're here to kill us, you say? Hmm. Eliminate him. Sir! Well now, it seems you've got some skill. Come at me with everything you've got! Unlike Goku, I won't take it easy on you. Whoa, Trinks. Goku? Oh, I see. So you're an ally of his. Never met the guy. Only know him by name. Oh, dear. You do realize that killing my men puts you in grave danger, do you not? Now I have to kill you myself. You miscalculated. A miscalculation? Oh, I beg to differ. Wiping you and the rest of the filth from this planet would be child's play. Mm-hmm. That's not what I meant. You're about to find out what it's like to fight a real Super Saiyan. Say so Gabriel. And I'm not talking about Goku. There's another one right here. Let me attack you once you meta. Bitch. How are you hear me that way? Bitch, calm down. Freezer, get fuck. Give me two, four rainbows, bro. Give me more. How is this possible? Damn, the shield's crazy. Impossible. Bro, he clearly freezes. That shit's crazy. Mysterious man. That's him, isn't it? Keep your guard up. We don't know who we're up against. Right. I'm going to head over there and wait for Goku. You're more than welcome to join me. What? 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 How does he know about my dad? He's going to show up right over there. If you're coming, then follow me. So, what do we do? Uh, I'm... I'm gonna follow him. Yeah, me too. 
I'm going to find out who this creep is. I don't know if he even like he decides to fight Trunks, if all of them together will be able to defeat him. He doesn't seem like a bad guy. Um so, how do you know my dad? Well, I've only heard about him. I haven't had the privilege of actually meeting him yet. Oh! Uh... Really? So, hey, how do you know when Goku's coming back? Well, um... I'm afraid I can't tell you that. I'm sorry. So... Can I ask... You were a Super Saiyan when you beat Frieza earlier, weren't you? How did you do that? Unfortunately, I can't tell you that either. Sorry. What's your name? Uh, that too. You can't even tell us your name? Well, what about your age? I'm 17. So you can tell us your age? But that's all I can tell you. I really am sorry. Huh. Hmm. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. You saved the Earth, after all. It'll be another three hours before Goku gets here. So please, just hang tight a little bit longer. Three hours later. He should be here soon. know I was gonna be here this young man here clued us in who is he y you mean you don't know who this is at all nope never seen him before that reminds me who took care of Frieza and the others that was some crazy energy we've got him to thank for that as well he made quick work of them by becoming a super saiyan a super saiyan <laughs> Goku, I need to speak with you. In private, if you don't mind. With me? Uh, yeah, sure. Hey, what's the big deal? You gonna keep us in the dark? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Just hang tight for a bit, okay? Goku's precision mission is now available. I guess I <laughs> Goku have much abilities I can learn and open now. Okay, we have one train to do for that one. So level two is good. Everything for Goku. Goku. So we have one one training for him, which is this one here for the uh, guy that comes in. It's the one like that tag the enemy follows. Okay, let's see. Three bones, spike strike, scissor, scissor, spike me, 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 instincts. Change the picture again. Okay. Can give a better compass. Uh, rank six. 
come soon and max out. Just give me like four. Let me do it for him. Yes. Okay, can I open the world by apparently the Dragon Ball is available again for me. I need to know something. Are you able to become a Super Saiyan at will? Yeah. I mean, I couldn't at first. But I can control it pretty good now. That's great. Now I have to ask, would you mind transforming for me now? You got it. Yeah. This good? So, what now? Now, I'll become a Super Saiyan too. I'd like you to fight me, and I won't go easy. Fine by me. <laughs> Bruh. Brother, he's crazy. Amazing. You're just as good as I'd heard. No, better even. Okay, I'll tell you everything. But please, it's important that you make sure not to tell anyone else what I'm about to tell you. Gotcha. Don't worry, talk away. Your secrets are safe with me. It might be difficult to believe what I'm about to say, but I've come here from 20 years into the future using a time machine. The, the future? 20 years from now? Yes, sir. My name is Trunks. I'm Vegeta's son. What? Vegeta's son? Actually, now that you mention it, you do kind of look like him. I'm going to be born two and a half years from now. But that's not why I came here. There's something much more important I need to tell you. So please listen. It's all by the androids. Huh? Oh, right. Three years from now, on May 12th, at around 10 a.m., two incredibly powerful figures will appear on an island five and a half miles southwest from South City. Who are they? Are they aliens? No. They're androids, created right here on Earth. They were created by a mad scientist from the former Red Ribbon Army named Dr. Giro. Dr. Giro. Red Ribbon Army? Dr. That's Giro. Right. The same one you took down many years ago. Oh yeah, when I was just a little guy. I thought I got rid of those guys a while ago. Like back when I beat up their boss. Unfortunately, Dr. Giro survived and continued his research. So what's he after? World domination or something else crazy? I'm not entirely sure, but it's possible that was his end goal. 
but his androids were designed to be killing machines. And they eventually turned on their creator. Meaning, the androids were free to kill and destroy to their heart's content. Okay. It's been just me against the two of them. I struggled to make it out alive. Wait, uh, what happened to everybody else? They're gone. 20 years from now, I'm the only fighter left. In the fight, three years from now, my father over there, Krillin, Piccolo, everyone is killed. Only Gohan managed to make it out alive. He taught me how to fight four years before I came here in the time machine. As you know, with Piccolo gone, the Dragon Balls could no longer be used. Meaning we couldn't bring anyone mm. back once they were killed. The androids' unquenchable lust for bloodshed eventually turned the world into a nightmarish hellscape. They're too strong. Nothing can take them down. Hey, wait, hold up a sec. What about me? They didn't kill me too, did they? Even you couldn't join in the fight. Not too long from now, you'll fall prey to a severe heart virus. What? Well, this is a pickle. I'm guessing sensu beans won't work, huh? Man, this sucks on so many levels. I can't believe I'm gonna die in such a lame way. I really <laughs> wanted to fight those guys. You're disappointed you can't fight them? Aren't you scared? Well, yeah, I'm scared. But you said they're crazy strong, right? Of course I want to fight them. I see. You really are a true Saiyan warrior, aren't you? Here, when you start to see symptoms, take this. It's a medicine developed 20 years from now. It should keep you alive. Whoa, really? Awesome, thanks. Normally, history shouldn't be changed. But I've got to do whatever I can to prevent those atrocities from coming to pass. My mother always spoke very well of you. She knew you'd help us. That's what pushed her to complete the time machine. Wait, your mother? She knows who I am? Yes, she knows you well. Wait, you said she built a time machine. Isn't that right? And the only <laughs> person I know who can do that is... No way! Your mom isn't... Yes, she's right over there. The stuff you just told me, that's gotta be the craziest! <laughs> I thought she'd stick with Yamcha. To, to think she'd end up with Vegeta of all people, I mean, it just makes no sense. P uh, please, make sure not to tell anyone. I can't have people knowing who I really am. If you do, well, I uh, might never be born. Oh, yeah, right. Mum's the word. Well, I'd better get going back to my own time. I need to let my mother know how everything went here. Hey, are we gonna see you again? Making a round trip in the time machine requires a lot of energy, so it'll take some time. If I can survive until then, I'll definitely come back to lend my support three years from now. Stay alive. What a great new goal. Now I'm gonna start training extra hard for the next three years. No, technically you can't train because you're gonna get fucked up in a couple days, so... Well... Now I just gotta figure out what to tell everybody about this stuff. Hey, hey, Goku. We just saw that guy take off. Where did he go? Oh, uh, uh, him? Yeah, he, uh, I, I guess you could say he went back home. Went back home? So, just who is this guy? Uh, he, um, he, uh, well, he's... 
Hey, isn't there something more important you should be telling us? Huh? If you can't find the words, then allow me to help you. What? You mean you heard? My sense of hearing is leagues above any of yours. Relax, all right? I won't say anything that could possibly endanger him. We're not going in unprepared. If we die, it won't be for lack of skill. Wait, die? What are you saying? Ba -da -ba -ba. On the hunt for the androids. Now we're gonna lock the new map Piccolo location. The map the we have. Being careful to avoid revealing where Jero is working with the androids. Identity. The others could do little to hide their shock at what he had to say about the terrifying truth regarding the two androids that would appear three years from now. In order to prevent history from plunging into darkness, everyone made the decision to train for the upcoming fight against the androids. Yeah. Androids, huh? Man, I never thought I'd hear anybody mention the Red Ribbon Army again. Was that young man really from the future? I'm just as shocked as all of you, but I actually think we can trust this guy. Kakarot. Spill it. How did you get off planet Namek alive? Right. We've been going crazy wondering what happened to you. Yeah. For a second or two, I thought I was done for. But then, right at the last second, I somehow managed to find a spaceship. That's right. The Ginyu forces. You took one of their ships. But when I jumped in and started to fly away, the spaceship took me to a planet called Yardrat. Those Ginyu goons had attacked Yardrat before, so they must have had that as the destination. Mm. So that explains the getup. I'm guessing that's what the Yardrats wear? Yep, they were all super friendly. They gave me these clothes since mine were torn up pretty bad. I find it extremely hard to believe that you came back from Yardrat empty-handed. Those freaks may be weak, but they have strange powers. You picked up some of them, right? <laughs> Bingo! I wanted to learn a lot more, but they really only had time to teach me one technique of theirs. It's called instant transmission. Huh? Instant, instant transmission? transmission? Yep, instant transmission. The weird thing is, is that you have to home in on the energy of a person, not a place. So you can't warp to a place unless you know someone there. Ah. <laughs> That's one heck of a downside, huh? That's not much of a downside, if you ask me. Well, I guess there's nothing you can't do now, huh? <laughs> all right. I That's guess true. We'll see each other again three years. I think now we have available the Dragon Balls again, so we're gonna go get so all them so we you can. Uh, the androids will arrive May twelfth. Get share long and uh, on an island make a wish to fight with another enemy. Southwest of South City. We'll be meeting up on that same island an hour earlier at nine. And don't show up unless you're ready to fight. We're not going to babysit those unable to pull their own weight. Kakarot, you may be a super saiyan, but mark my words. I promise I'm going to put you in your place soon enough. Don't forget that the number one saiyan here will always be me. <laughs> All right, so I guess we'll see each other in three years. Uh, where we said. Hey, don't show up unless you really feel you're ready. All right, we better get going. Let's go, go ahead. So, Piccolo, what do you say? Want to train with me and Gohan? I've been dying to fight you again. <laughs> sure, sounds good to me. Sure, Yay! sounds good to me. <laughs> I get to train with Mr. Piccolo again. Right. Bill Gohan is a child is a fucking annoying kid, bro. Years. I forgot how annoying he right. is. We're making a stop home first. Right, Dad? Mom's been waiting for you. Oh, yeah, right. Guess I better get some FaceTime in with Chi-Chi, huh? Piccolo, is it okay with you if we do that? Fine, but don't waste too much of our time. Bah. Head to Goku's house. Golden Sand area unlock, which is here. Here we are. Oh.
Let's go talk with Titi. for being away for so long. Really? I'm not looking forward to getting yelled at again. <laughs> Titi! I'm home! Hi, Mom! G Goku! H is that really you? <laughs> of course it's me! You look like you've been doing pretty good. You had me so worried! Where have you been this past year? And what's with those clothes? And Gohan, what are you doing in that outfit? Uh, yeah, about that. You know, it's kind of a long story. <laughs> the wig's favorite thing that had just fire. What? You have to train Gohan because you're gonna fight some robots in three years? <laughs> yeah. That's okay, right? No, that's not okay! Are you insane? Do you think I'm just gonna let you waltz in here and disrupt Gohan's studies? Uh, it's, I'm not trying to do that. It's just, well, the Earth might be in big trouble about three years from now. No, I don't care what you say. I'm not letting Gohan train with you. Hang on, wait. You're saying the fate of the Earth isn't as important as Gohan's studies are? Of course, Gohan's studies are more important. <laughs> Nothing's more important than that. What? You don't believe that, right? Come on. Let Gohan train with me. Oh, fine. This is the absolute last time, you hear me? Titi. But in three years, he's done with all this fighting. You got that? <sighs> Thanks, Chi-Chi. Three years nice studying? That's crazy. So even Super Saiyans have their weaknesses. All right, since that's settled, let's go train. Goku, Goku, can you hear me? Hey, I know that voice. It's Kami. Okay. Yep, reading you loud and clear. How's it going? I'm glad to see you've made it back to Earth. I've been waiting for you. Okay. My apologies, but would you please come to my lookout? I must speak with you. Oh, really? Does it have to be now? I was getting ready to go train. What I have to say concerns everyone. Everyone? Uh-oh. I think you're gonna Got fuse it. with Piccolo now. Don't worry, I'll be right there, Kami. Good. I'll be waiting. You guys... I'm sorry, but there's been a change in plans. Looks like I gotta head to Kami's place. What do you think? Wanna come with me? Oh, Kami, huh? I have absolutely no desire to speak with him. Gotcha. Tell you what, why don't you guys go on ahead and train without me? R really? Uh, okay, Dad. So, uh, do you know where we're going? Uh, don't need to. I can find you guys just fine. I'll just search for your energy. Are you sure? Go Are on. You sure? Be sure to do your best with Piccolo until I get back, though, all right? Leave the kid to me. I'll whip him into shape. What? Uh... I wonder what's so important that Kami needs to interrupt my training. I don't think I have nothing new for Goku. I do not. He's still level 38. Jungle Boy is not back yet. So we have to go here. So main quest and we have a side quest here, which is the fucking Ginyu Force. But I need to go around to fight him. I cannot change my party. Oh shit. Okay, let's go uh, talk with Kami. 
everything so let's talk with uh kami no oh, come next come I wonder what's so important hey, that Tommy come. needs to interrupt my training. All right, there it is. I think there was something off about Kami. Hey, Kami, Mr. Popo. Long time no see. I've been waiting for you, Goku. A bell oh? with... What's up? Well, I have something to tell you about the Dragon Balls. Can we remind Goku that the Dragon Balls only have a, f a few uh, uses left? Shenron under the weather or something? No, no. You see, uh, my life is nearing its end. Call it an old man's intuition. What? Ah, no need to dwell on the matter. It's simply a feeling. Uh, if you say so. But not all hunches come true, you know. Indeed. <clears throat> but should you have any wishes, let us err on the side of caution and act now. Gotta think this through. Got it, Kami! Uh-oh. Better head on back now. Piccolo and the others. They're over there. What's up? Are you gonna get the, the Senzu beans now? Let me guess. You need help with something? <laughs> yeah, you guessed right. Yeah? What is it? Uh, Senzu beans. Old Corrin's growing a new batch of them. They're still gonna need some fertilizer, though. So I thought that you might be up to the task of getting some. Me? Okay. Why don't you do it? Oh, uh, because, uh, because I'm busy. Doesn't look to me like you're doing anything. You, shut it! You and Krillin are probably going to use most of the Sinzu beans anyway. So why not help a little? Do your part. Jeez. Hmm, I guess you have a point. Man, this guy's so easy. <laughs> That's more like it. I'll tell you what you need to do. Uh, Yajirobi explained what's, what was needed to cultivate the sense of things. Sage water, goblet, goblet fertilizer. All right, then. Take a look. That's the fertilizer I need. It's in the sacred land of Corin. Made it easy for you. I marked where to find it on your map. See here? You'll find it all the way down at the bottom of this tower. All right, that should be enough info. You got it? Yep, see you later. No memory here. In order to defeat the deadly assassin Tao Pai Pai, Goku climbed his uh style the top of the witch is said no one has ever Well Corin does before. help me out a bunch with the top of towers so I should help him out once in a while. Supposedly lies the uh divine water, which greatly increased the power of those who drink. But to get access to the divine water, one first must get past the uh, Fidelinia Hermit Corin. In attempting to do the best, Agile Corin, Goku was actually in a knowledge training himself to become stronger. Train? This is divine. I was supposed to. Yeah! Let's get there. Okay. Well, Corrin does help me out a bunch with his sensu beans, so I should help him out once in a while. All right. Got there. Yeah. Yeah. We find a Dragon Ball here. I wonder what Yajirobe does up here all day. Train, maybe? Nah, he doesn't look like he trains. Yeah! Yeah, have a fight. Hmm? Wanna 
I didn't know that the Dragon Ball was expawned already. Oh, you did. Okay. Cut that monster clean in two. It's my turn now. Too bad for you. Too bad. Whew. Huh. I see why Yajirobe was reluctant to do this himself. Well, I can't complain. It's good exercise. Check and check. Okay, we okay, we're going back automatically there. I got what you wanted. Since the Dragon Ball is spawned again, I'm gonna collect them so I can wish uh rare rewards. We can get all those items that give plus four, I think all stuff. Awesome. I knew you'd pull through, Goku. Just wait right there. Hey, what is this? I got the stuff for you. You nincompoop. You can't pull one over on me. Goku's the one who got it. You're slower than a freaking sloth. <laughs> hey, where, weren't you sleeping? I was meditating, you idiot. All right. I've had it up to here with you. Let me teach you a thing or two. Your punishment will be very creative. Oh, come on, man. I appreciate the hard work, Goku. I'll split these sensu beans with you once they're ready. Thanks a million, Corin. You got him? You got oh, yeah, Jirobi? Them. That took longer than I thought it would. I better hurry back to Piccolo and Gohan. Mm, let's go. You cannot receive Sizzle Beans from Corrin. Sizzle Beans will finish it growing after a set amount of time and can be acquired by this Corrin. Uh, be sure to pick up your wheel of fight. Don't worry about forgetting to pick up the beans. Corrin will save up to nine of them for you at a time. Gotcha. Head to the Tower Black Bog. Uh, it's not what I want to do. I want to. I know, I just saw it. Okay, calm the fuck down, bruh. train uh, dad sorry about that now what do you say we start out with training all right for starters i want the both of you to come at me both of us are you seriously that full of yourself gohan i want to see you at your full power try and catch him off guard and overwhelm him okay. bro even both of them will, will not be able to defeat fucking Let's see what you two can do. Don't hold back. That's Come on, go. Keep at it. I will, Mr. Piccolo. That's enough, go on. You and I are straight, too. Whoa! Bro, 
FM Seco Corran. Where are you looking, Goku? What the fuck? Mazenko if I'm attacking him first. Need to work harder. Man, you've gotten stronger, Gohan. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> of course he has. Unlike other kids, he's already gone up against the likes of Vegeta and Frieza. Good point. Being here reminds me of when you first started training me, Mr. Piccolo. <laughs> you mean when you were a pathetic ball of tears? What? No, not that. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm starting to get it. So, this is where you guys trained when I was dead, huh? Yeah. Mr. Piccolo was super tough on me. I had no choice in the matter. It was useless to us back then, and I did what I had to do to fix him. Sorry to put you through that, Piccolo. Gohan's a lot stronger now, and it's all thanks to you. And who knows? If he keeps it up, there's no telling how strong he'll get. Might even get stronger than us. Stronger than you two? Just no for this saga. After that, you... We're going to be in real trouble if he doesn't. No kidding. And that's why I'm here to help you guys out. Let's show him how strong you can get in three years, Gohan. Y yeah. Speaking of everyone, I wonder what kind of training they're going through. Vegeta's most likely sticking to himself and off somewhere doing his own thing. Oh, don't worry about him. I'm sure Vegeta will be fine. There's a lot. Okay, we can do the, the training now for Goku. Vegeta, you need to undergo extra harsh training began to make some special arrangement. Have the main quest, basically. There you are. Yes? Can I help you? What is going on with that training room I asked you to build? Basic construction is complete. I just need a few more items for the finishing touches. Yeah, like what? There aren't a lot of things that can take a beating from you, you know? This thing has got to be durable. Let's cut to the chase. I finish your shopping and you finish the room, that right? That's right, you got it. Here's what I need you to get for me. And that about does it for the things I need. <laughs> you want me to get this, huh? I hope I have everything so we don't need to go looking for it. You'll see, Kakarot. I'm going to push myself. <laughs> <laughs> Well now, this might be good. Let's go outside. Earth towns are more organized than I thought. Okay, one's right here. Other one's there, other one's there. Let's go here first.
Pep. Okay, next one's here. And not just any Super Saiyan. I'm going to become the ultimate Super Saiyan. Ultimate oh, Super Saiyan. Yeah, did you say well? It's right there. I can think of no greater humiliation than constantly being in your shadow, Kakarot. I'll do whatever it takes to become stronger. Uh -huh. Where are you? I'm here. Oh, right there. Damn it. Okay, next one is located uh, right there. Easy prey. Well now. Here we go. On this rock, I got a business proposition for you. Give me what you got, and I might not kill you. Rito. Who the hell are you? Remnants of Frieza's pitiful army? Are you Vegeta? W what are you doing here? Oh, I get it. I With live the here. Force gone, you've become a galactic highwayman, too. Sorry, but I got here first, and I ain't sharing with you. You caught me in a bad mood. That will be your final mistake. Die! Got Oh, I hope my variety is more balanced this time. time around. What's up, how are you doing? Yes, I hope so too. Can't wait to play. More three days. Three days! Yeah. It's more we have my revivals. Uh, how much? I cannot go up. I guess not. <sighs> I hope to get a higher rank. I think I was gold. I got uh, diamond too, I think. I got what you asked for. I think it was that diamond two, I think I did. Or diamond three, something like that. Now that I have this, I think the the group's as good as ready. Yeah, we have like Wait a here. we have a group like we play the tournament together. So the queue is not the way to go. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we got I got I got a group of content creators right, and a like group of finished. other players that Kakarot play a tournament with us. Times gravity. So I'll have to triple that we did good for the tournament. We won two, three matches, we lost three. So. Actually, I wouldn't do that if I were you. 
Well, first time Assuming playing with random seven, people, that was not that bad. 175 or so pounds, that'd be approximately 18 tons of pressure. That's only three times what Kakarot did. There's no way I can't have You have a main, a main character you're playing with, uh, in the first beta? That Vegeta is unbelievable. Training under 300 times gravity? Is he trying to kill himself? Damn it! Uh, Vegeta? What are you doing? Shut up, woman! <laughs> Shut up, woman! Wrong song for Leave me be! Child. Oh, you don't want my help? Suit yourself. Why? Why can't I reach his level? Bro, you literally I, try one time in the, the machine. Of the it's so fucking stupid, Vegeta, sometimes. Jeez. There's just no getting through to you, is there? Several hours later. You're insane! Have you been at it this whole time? <laughs> You're not going to make any progress if you keep this up. <laughs> Why don't you just ask Goku what he does to turn into a Super Saiyan? I die before I ask for that low-class loser's help! <laughs> yeah, then why don't you try dying? What did you say? I've prepared a special training partner for you in the simulator. Think you can beat them? Do you have any idea who you're talking to, you ridiculous woman? <laughs> you're Vegeta, the she almighty like to be treated Saiyan bad. prince, right? <laughs> I guess that settles it then. Vegeta's always Good shitty luck. on Bulma. And one more thing. My name's Bulma, not woman. Oh, Think no. you can remember that? She always shitty her like the beginning before they... talking to? They... Damn that woman! Who's inside here? Maybe like is that a, hol a hologram or something? Okay. This place, this is the wasteland where I first fought Kakarot, which means. But how? I'm fighting myself? What the hell? <laughs> Consider yourself lucky. A super elite like myself, wasting his time playing with scum like you. Damn that blasted woman! What the hell is her problem? You're about to learn the hard way. And for the road, this is enough to reach my level. I will get stronger. I will go beyond Kakarot in this bastard version of myself. No, sir. Treat. I haven't begun to tap into my power. I've got it at your limit, and you're more disappointing than I thought. You're about to surrender at no limits to my power. Prepare yourself and bear witness to the unstoppable. Super elite around here is me! Gallic gun! Bro, you little motherfucker dodge. Gallic gun! You can't believe it! Gallic gun! How dare you! This is unforgivable! What's unforgivable is rotting away here, wasting my time with you! That close to me, bro. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Don't tell me this is all. Bro, is it shit? Bitch. I'm only just getting started. Seems like you'd be better though. Yeah, I think so. I hope. I'm sick of didn't announce anything even for the content creators. I will surpass even myself. 
I will punish myself for lagging behind Kakarot. Wow, I guess that wasn't enough of a challenge for you, huh? You... You really know how to piss me off! Oh, come oh, on! I was just messing around with you! More! Huh? You're right, it wasn't enough. You're going to make me a stronger opponent! Uh, don't you take that tone with me! I'm going to get stronger and use that strength to crush those androids! You have a problem with that, Bulma? Probably did it. Fine. You're a real pain, you know that? Wait. He just called me Bulma for the first time, didn't he? Kakarot, I will surpass you. Just wait. You'll realize that I'm number one. It wasn't today. We're gonna continue our pouring uh, everything uh, he had into this training, uh, hoping to push himself and train greater power. Goku and everyone else, on the other hand, is just eating because you know. Hey, Goku. Gigi, we're back. Hi, mom. Let me play you fucking Gohan, bro. Yeah. I'll have those motherfuckers really to beat again. a sweat today, Goku. Do you have a second? Sure, Chi Chi. But can it wait? I'm starving. Don't you? I'm starving me. I got a bone to pick with you. Yeah. Why can't you act more like our neighbors and drive us to the store once in a while? But Chi Chi, we don't have a car. And even if we did, I couldn't drive it. I don't have a license. <laughs> you need to get a driver's license. You're the only one around here who still doesn't have something that basic! Piccolo doesn't have one either. What use would I have for that? <laughs> then you need to go to driver's ed. Think of it as training to become normal everyday people. You're both obsessed with training, right? Then you can't say no. What? What do I have to? Um. Uh, how many things we have here? Thirty. This island is very small. Okay, I have a choice. He forced me to go in there. And so, the warriors gathered at the time and place that Trunks had mentioned. Bulma, who was eager to see the androids for herself, greeted them. <laughs> but she wasn't alone. She had a baby boy in tow. That boy was a young Trunks, the child she had with Vegeta. All except Goku were surprised to see the child. However, the impending arrival of the androids quickly put everyone back on edge. Then, as Goku and the others stood oh, ready, the androids suddenly began to oh, break 19? out in the I city. Explosion in the city! 
Is it the androids? Could be. But there's no way to tell from here. Hey, what gives? I couldn't sense their power at all. Th that's it! They're androids. Which means we can't sense their energy. You're kidding, right? Where could they be? If we can't sniff them out, then we're just gonna have to hunt them down. All right, guys, split up. If you spot them, let the rest of us know. Got it? Gohan, you go help the people who were caught up in that explosion, okay? Okay. The androids attack. Let's go. Jeez. Where could those things possibly be? I'm starting to think I should have had Trunks show me a picture of them or something. <laughs> we got a keeper. I never imagined we wouldn't be able to track their energy. Talk about the pain. All right! This is great! Found some tasty looking food. Okay. If it's me you're after, then show your faces already! Even though we knew the androids were coming, we still couldn't stop them. No new training. Maybe one of the other guys found them. Found some tasty looking food. First things first, we need to find those androids. Better head back to town. Nothing for me over here. Where are you? Come on, show yourselves! Found just two warp, you say have 30. It must be underwater. Tian. Tian Shen Han. Sorry. Same here. There's gotta be some place we haven't thought to look. You come up? Anything? No. All right. Be on your car. Krillin. Krillin. Not so good, Go. Gotcha. Whoa. I just felt a huge drop in someone's energy. It's Yamcha. Fire. Krillin! Yamcha's still alive! I left some sensu beans behind. Get him out of here and give him one, will ya? Uh, right, I'm on it. So, you're the androids. Odd. How did you figure out that we were androids? And it would seem you also knew that we'd be right here. Why is that? You want us to talk? Then you're gonna have to try and make us. Very well. Wait, not here. Let's move somewhere else. Somewhere with no people. You're okay with that, right? Somewhere with no people? Fine. We will allow you to choose the place of your death, Goku. How do you know Goku's name? We know all of you. You are Piccolo. And you are Tien, yes? 
We can talk about this later. Let's go! Ha <laughs> ha! How did they know our names? Not surprised the androids know about Goku. He's the one who took down the Red Ribbon Army, after all. That's far enough, Goku. This ends now. We will fight right here. You have lost your right to choose the location. Okay. So... Before we fight, tell us how. Tell us how do you know who we are? Very well. I will tell you. Goku, I have been observing you for quite some time now, using an ultra-small spy robot of mine. During the World Tournament, during your fights with Piccolo and Vegeta, I continued my research long after you destroyed the Red Ribbon Army. So that I could someday witness your defeat. Revenge against me, huh? Yes. Because of you, the Red Ribbon Army could never realize its dream of world domination. Only Dr. Giraud remained. You're talking almost as if you're Dr. Giraud himself. Don't be ridiculous. I am a creation of his. I am Android 20. Dr. Giraud is no longer among the living. All right, then. Did you happen to observe my fight on Planet Namek? Huh? There was no need to waste the time. We were able to effortlessly ascertain your power after your fight with Vegeta. You're in for some real trouble, because guess what? You missed the best part! What? Whether you know it or not, you just dug your own grave. You don't know about Super Saiyans. I see. Impressive, but no cause for concern. Android 19 here should be more than enough to defeat you. Oh, yeah? Let's get him! Well then, what do you say? Let's see what he's got. This fight because he's getting tired, he's getting sick, he's getting the virus already. Why would Goku be trying to rush the fight? He's already nearing his full power, he's in a lot of pain by the looks of him. Absorb the attack? Goku, don't fire any energy attacks. They can absorb them with their hands. 
absorb the attacks. Give me a break. What? What's going on? Goku doesn't look so good. Dina. Wait. It can't be. It's the heart virus the kid from the future mentioned. What? You mean he hasn't taken the medicine yet? I don't believe it. He seemed perfectly fine when he was training alongside me and Gohan. Damn. Of all the times for Goku to get sick, why did it have to be now? Man! I'm not doing so hot! What's going on? Yeah! Vegeta. <clears throat> if anyone's going to defeat Kakarot, it's going to be me, not some junk puppets like you. Vegeta! I felt an incredible energy over there earlier, but it's pretty weak now. Maybe the fight's over. Go on! Krillin! Yamcha! What's going on? One of the androids did me in, but Krillin here saved me with the Sensu Bean. I've got more Sensu Beans here. We need to meet up with the others and fast. Yeah, but they're gonna work for Goku. Over there! Dad? Goku! The heart virus that the kid from the future mentioned. That's likely what he's struggling with. No! Somebody needs to get him out of here. Give him that heart medicine right away! I'll take him. I hate to admit it, but I'm probably not going to be much help here anymore. <clears throat> Looks like you've got to deal with me now. Android 20, please allow me to exterminate Vegeta. Hmm. Very well. Then I'll take I will care, take of, the care of the remaining four. four. You two don't look as tough as everyone had said you would be. We already know the full extent of your fighting prowess. You're gonna kill 19, oh, and Jero gonna you need run away, and uh, to understand us Saiyans. Android 17, 18, uh, 18 gonna kill so Jero. So tell me, are androids capable of experiencing fear? Vegeta's a... A Super Saiyan? Vegeta! The best. I've yearned for nothing more than greater power and trained the hardest I've ever trained. Eventually, I came to realize the limitations of my power. Overwhelmed with anger and frustration, I finally awakened and became a Super Saiyan! That might be impressive to some. A paltry power increase does not make you a match for us androids. That cocky sneer will soon be turned into sheer terror. Got five. Holy shit, Vegeta. You got a lot of free XP. Holy shit. Nothing new for you because you're level 39. Next level, you're gonna lock new attacks. Now that I've become a Super Saiyan, no one can best me. Well, let's do this. I want to test something. <laughs> Got a gun! Prepare 
spare yourself! You won't be spared by a dopey of pain, right? That must be nice! On the f Jesus Christ. That's a lot. I think you like so only six rainbow ones. That's bullshit. Take this. Have a taste of Super Vegeta's Big Bang Attack. Those face. <sighs> I've used up a lot of my power. If you want to take me down, now's your chance. Come at me. Your power may have exceeded my initial calculations, but it's still not enough to defeat us androids. <laughs> You're not going anywhere! I'm going too. I want to see the end of the androids with my own eyes. Yeah, count me in too. Me too. Fine. But don't get pulled into the fight. He's more than you guys can handle. He's mm -hmm. trying to lose us among the rocks. If you find him, let everyone else know, okay? Amplify. Android, Android terror. terror. Pickle and the others head out the search of the craft Android 20. Unfortunately, they weren't able to catch him. Instead, only end up wasting time. That android <clears throat> is a whole lot craftier than I thought he would be. There's been no word from Gohan and the others. I'd better go ask them, just in case. Since we can't sense his energy, Why? this will be tricky. So fucking stupid. Man. It's Yen. Got it? No, I still haven't caught sight of him. There's no sign of him having left this rocky area. It's more than likely. Have you seen him? Nope. He's pretty well hidden in these rocks. Hmm. Looks like someone wants to die. 
Vegeta. He's faster than I thought. Damn him! <laughs> Gohan. No. Hmm. <clears throat> Damn. I hate to say it, but we might have lost him. calling your comrades now your energy will be all mine go, go on android get over here uh, uh, mr piccolo over there <laughs> you're as good as dead <laughs> <laughs> How did they find me? Thanks, Thanks go on. Krillin, give Piccolo a senzu bean! Uh, okay. Okay, that be good. And what does a weakling like you hope to accomplish? I will be taking your energy. Try using my special attacks. I will eliminate. You made a terrible error in trying to fight me alone. Do I cut? A weakling like you hope to accomplish. I will eliminate you. Damn it. I will eliminate Damn it. Are serious? I was about to use my 
And what does a weakling like you hope to accomplish? Oh, shrinks it back. Wait. These aren't the androids I know. What's going on? If it's not them, who is everyone fighting? Are the androids dead already? Ah, that's bullshit. It's cool to the scene of Vegeta hold the androids 19 uh, arms. I refuse to believe put his, that even both Piccolo his chest, just remove his could arm have off. increased his power this much. I have made a grave miscalculation. I have no choice but to return to my lab. Everybody's here, so it looks like we all avoided getting wiped out. Which must mean we've changed the future. Hmm? Hey, guys! Now! None of you have any hope of winning! Android 17 and 18 will make short work of the lot of you. What? Ah! Mother! He's from the future. That means... Are you all right? Hey, it's you from before. So you came back, huh? Yeah. I thought I would come and offer my support. But who were you fighting? So, where is that wrinkly robot? He used the smoke to make his getaway. Damn it! Why didn't you try and save your wife and child just now? Foolishness. I have no interest in things like that. Oh my god. <laughs> Vegeta. <laughs> Holy shit. I saw what looked like a badly damaged android on my way here. It looks like the androids you fought are different from the ones I've been fighting in my time. Then what the hell are we fighting? Uh, that's not that big of a deal, right? I mean, so history's a little different now. Wait, that creepy geezer was an android? Huh? Yeah. That might have been the actual Dr. Jero. I've seen a photo of him in one of my books. He probably modified himself to extend his life. No way. You mean, my coming here years ago? changed history this much? He mentioned androids 17 and 18. Those were the two you were talking about, right? Tell us, what do they look like? Right. Android 17 is a young man with long black hair and a scarf around his neck. Android 18 is a young woman, and her outfit is more or less similar to mine. Uh, a female type? Oh, come on. Bulma! Do you know where Dr. Giro's laboratory is? He's probably there right now. If I had to guess, it's likely in the mountains up north. I heard that he built it in a cave around there to do his experiments. 
Yep. Think he was a lackey for the Red Ribbon Army. Like in the kind of winter. That's crazy. Area. That settles the matter then. We'll find the location of Doctor Giro's lab and destroy it well before he's able to activate Androids 17 and 18. <laughs> I'm above such cowardly tactics. Let him activate them. I'll turn them into scrap with my bare hands. No. We have to destroy his lab before he activates the other Virginia's androids. always fucking up everything, bro. And if we can't, then we have to avoid fighting until Goku is fully recovered. We have no need for Kakarot. You're forgetting that I'm a Super Saiyan now, too. And I'm no ordinary Saiyan. I'm the prince, which means I'm leagues above Kakarot in terms of power. Don't stand in my way. <laughs> She's just such a con. Vegeta may actually have what it takes to get rid of the androids. As a Super Saiyan, it might just work. I can transform into a Super Saiyan, too. Yet, I was no match for them. I'm going too. He's difficult to deal with, but I'm not about to watch my father die again. Uh, father? Uh, did he say father? What did he mean? Guess there's no point in keeping it a secret. Not anymore. The kid's name is Trunks. Vegeta is his father. You're his mother. In other words, He's your son. Trunks is the grown-up version of the baby you're holding in your arms right now. What? <laughs> uh, really? Uh, well, that explains it. That's why he was able to go Super Saiyan. I think it's probably best we destroy the androids before they've been activated. You guys come with me. We're going to look for Dr. Giro's lab. Right. Yeah. Dr. Gyro. Okay, Boma. This is important. Could you let my dad know what's going on? Tell him to come help when he feels better? Well, I would, but how am I supposed to do that? Have you seen my plane? Gohan, head back and take her with you. Understand? We're more than strong enough to destroy the androids. Uh, okay. Bro, send Tien to careful. take her. Tien's like All garbage. Right, go. We have to get there before Vegeta does. Right. Hurry! We've got to find that lab before the androids are activated. Let's <sighs> party. Okay. Oh, put much effort on this character since I'm not gonna use them much. Why not? have anything new I believe curling I don't know either okay it's good Vegeta Trunks is right here. Go ahead. Go ahead is not worth it increase anymore because we put it right. When we swap characters here, we're gonna put a good thing. Trunks, Trunks, go thing, Vegeta, Goku, Gohan, Piccolo. Um, 
know what else we're gonna keep here. We'll see. It's a Robby. Sense of being seed. Save. Just gonna save that for now. We're gonna unlock a new area. Northern Mountains, right here. So we have this new area unlock, which you have 30 gold medals there. Here. Have 30 as well. We got two. The martial arts area here. You have this island, I believe, is part of this, I think. Yeah, it is okay. Um, and then yeah, so we have to go there to the new location so we can uh, fight the androids. So if Android 17 and 18 are activated, do you think Vegeta will be able to take them out? Hard to say, honestly. I just hope he can scrap those two before they're acting. Change up a memory. If this Dr. Chiro built a lab in such a remote location, he must not like people very much. He wasn't exactly a well respected yeah, scientist. Of course, you wouldn't take it because we usually we collect there. them Android all after. 17 and 18, huh? Off stream. I wonder if Vegeta's already run into them. This Dr. Giro was working for the Red Ribbon Army? Well then, he's definitely not a good guy. That's what we got. <laughs> that wasn't very difficult. <laughs> Freezing up. <laughs> Deal with it. Okay. I'm cold too. You earthlings are a pain. Well, are we close to where the lab is? There it is, up ahead. Over there. It's close. What just happened? How dare you? I created you. You didn't create us. We had lives before you ruined them. Listen to me. You must eliminate Goku's allies. They're coming. That's an order! Do you hear that? It's an order, Seventeen. We're not gonna follow a single one of your orders. We're just gonna take care of ourselves now. Geezer. There's another one! What in the world is going on in there? Let's go! I feel a lot better now. Hey, what's that? Hey, I don't think I've seen you before, big guy. What's your number? 16. 16. Android 16, <clears throat> huh? Interesting. So you're an earlier model. Uh, Android 16? I've never heard of an Android 16. Wait. So, so those are the androids that Dr. Giro was talking about? Trunks, can you confirm that these are the androids you originally warned us about? Y yeah, but uh, I've never seen that large one they called 16 before. What? At least, I haven't seen him in my time. So, what's going on here? <laughs> Who cares? Just one more hunk of scrap to add to the pile I'm going to make. Wait, where's Dr. Giro? Oh, the old man? I took care of him. <laughs> For Vegeta, I'm gonna get. Alright, let's go. Fuck by 18. Get going? To where? 
I'm not crazy about doing what Dr. Giroux wants, but as androids, I think we should do something. So let's go kill this Goku guy. Hey, 16, you were created specifically to kill Goku, right? Correct. Well, I guess that settles it then. Where are they going? Don't tell me they're actually gonna try to find Goku. Well, that's what Dr. Giroux wanted, right? To kill Goku. Mm, I couldn't give a damn about that. How dare they? How dare they ignore the mighty Vegeta! These are big, big attacks, but I can never feel it. Don't make me laugh! They're going to pay for not recognizing my power. Well, now. Oh, the towers give shit too. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> Let's see what I can Vegeta unlock. Cool, level two, okay. Massive strike, we have two. We cannot land that yet. So recovery doesn't matter much, we don't use that shit. Big Ben attack. I think we attack Vegeta here gonna be like a spirit bomb for Goku. I think we're gonna take a lot of the Gold one in case we have a quest. And I'm gonna collect I'm gonna well, this one. And I'm gonna collect that one. Those androids before Kakarot can even see them. Yo. Vegeta versus Android 18. I didn't expect to see you reject roaming around in here. You're going to tell me where you're going right now, whether you want to or not. We're off to find Goku. We're gonna kill him. See, that's what I thought. Too bad that's not going to happen. Because I'm going to blow every one of you to pieces. You Saiyans sure are full of yourselves, aren't you? That pride of yours. It's just gonna get you killed faster, you know. You've got quite the mouth on you for a machine. Thank you. So who's up first? The punk? The woman? Or maybe I should just scrap all three of you trash cans at once. Wait, that's right. We still haven't seen what you can do, 16. Why don't you fight him? Negative. My prime directive is to eliminate only Goku. Wow. What a letdown. Fine. I'll do it then. Vegeta, are you all right? <laughs> so you came. You're really starting to piss me off. Vegeta and 18 are about to fight. So back off. What? Still, just watching isn't much fun. I guess I could play with you guys. You know what that means. You and I won't be having any interruptions. <laughs> Be warned. I don't plan on going easy on you just because you're a woman. Hey. <laughs> yeah, Vegeta. Think like that, Vegeta. How do I guess since you're an android? You're not don't tell me. That wasn't the best you can do, was it? Of course not. 
much in you. Does that mean that that Goku guy is even stronger than you? I'm the stronger one. No matter. It's not like you're a big deal. Be there. You believe it? You're done. Maybe I shouldn't admit this, but I'm actually kind of impressed you held out this long. Damn you, woman. Now you've done it. Oh. I think it's time we end this little game. You're about done, right? She destroyed Vegeta's arm, bruh. All of you got body for androids. Don't worry. They're still alive. You'd better hurry up, though. Give them those sensu beans of yours. So, should we get going? But, aren't we going to ask them the whereabouts of Goku? Nah. It'll be more fun if we have to find him ourselves. Ugh. You can be such a child sometimes, Seventeen. You know that? You think so? Whatever. I'm Whatever. fine as long as we can make a stop in town. My clothes are a mess. I think I'm going to need a new outfit. Sure, why not? Hey! Wait! Wait! Huh? What do you want? What do you want? What is it that you guys are after? I mean, why are you doing this? Well, first, we're gonna take care of Goku. I mean... Why are you going after Goku? Hey, this is all just a game. I mean, Goku's the strongest guy around. Am I right? You probably won't just stop because I asked you to, right? Negative. Negative. We were created for the sole purpose of eliminating Goku. You heard the big guy. Yeah. But shouldn't you be helping your friends instead of talking to us? They're gonna die. <laughs> See ya. Bye. <laughs> I gotta help the others. Currently found in love. So they knew all about the sensu beans and just let us go on our way. They didn't even feel the need to kill us. <laughs> Don't go after him. Just leave him be. He'd finally bah, become bah. a Super Saiyan and regained his pride and confidence as a warrior. Getting beaten that badly was probably too much for him to take. Even Trunks, I'm pretty sure he was. It will be for so me, easily. for sure. Couldn't lay a finger on them. That's it, isn't it? 
No matter how strong Goku gets, there's no way we can win. Okay, here's the plan. You guys go to Goku's house, then move him to a different location <clears throat> immediately. Before we do anything else, we need to make sure Goku gets better. Uh, so, uh, right. What are you gonna do, Piccolo? I need more power. What's gotten into Piccolo all of a sudden? I need to go home. Give uh, me go home. I, had, I need to go home to be able to fight the other okay, enemies so I can it. get their medals. He's got one final trick up his sleeve. One final trick? What do you mean? So, you know what's in that direction, right? Huh? I'm not really sure. What are you trying to say? That's Kami's place. And? What does that have to do with anything? When I was back on planet Namek, I spoke to Guru. He told me that if Kami and Piccolo hadn't separated, they'd be as powerful as a Saiyan. So, I'm betting that Piccolo's gonna combine with Kami and go back to being his true warrior self. But wait, if Kami ceases to exist as he is now, won't the Dragon Balls disappear too? Uh, but if either of them die separately, well then the same thing's gonna happen anyway, so... Piccolo probably feels like this is our best shot at taking down an enemy this powerful. But what about my fa- I, I mean, what about Vegeta? What do you think he's up to? Relax, there's no need to hide it anymore. I mean, we already know that you're Bulma's kid, all grown up and from the future. Vegeta's the only one who doesn't know. What? Uh, <clears throat> uh, I see. I'm sorry for hiding it from you. Hey, no need to apologize. I'm going to meet up with Chaozu. If things get hairy again, I'll be back. Gotcha. We're gonna get Goku and take him to Master Roshi's place, okay? Okay. Master Roshi's, okay. Make sure you tell Goku not to overdo it. Right. We'll tell him. Surprise to him, Goku, there. Overdo it, huh? Yeah. Head towards Goku place. Oh, it. we have a now side quest here, which we're going to do now. The androids in but the timeline were in no way that powerful. We see what we can unlock for trucks. We have to learn this technique. But some techniques for trinks is kind of waste, but. His tree is not that big. We have to learn this one. Finish Buster. Um. Has history really been altered that much? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was. Um. I was just wondering. Um. These uh, androids. Uh, are they? Uh, are they really as evil? Go this side quest here. Hey, uh, what? Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 um. <laughs> see ya. What? They're heartless, bloodthirsty, unforgiving killing machines. At least in my time. Why do you ask? Yeah, um, I was just uh, hoping they might not be in our time, that's all. When it comes to these androids, I'd avoid holding on to too much hope if I were. Well, yeah, you're right, but uh, you can't blame a guy for hoping, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Not in the cave. Oh, is the robot? It's not a dinosaur. I'm so stupid.
which one I was doing? Because you did this shit to him. They look weak. No cause for concern. Trunks. Let me see if I find an area they have training. Learn a technique for trunks. Three techniques super burning attack. It's level 60. Holy shit. Oh, I can't even do those two anyway. This 55, we're not gonna win 55 here. We can even do 55 actually. It's alright. Um, party. Trunks. Uh, I think we unlock anything new. Do you have just adding the palette, I think. Yes. Uh, we just dive room here. And finish buster here. Yep. So you have a, a freezer ship right here. No one stands in the way of that. They look weak. No cause for concern. We got nothing there. I can't believe I was lucky enough to find this. They look weak. What? What? Bam, bam. 
Um, uh, right. What? Thanks. No. Uh, hey. <laughs> um, right. <laughs> Ooh, to bring bread. Hey. Thank you very much. <laughs> right. I need to do my best too. Okay, we don't have nothing side quests. So I have to go to Goku's house first. I need to get Gohan. Someone, Krillin, is that you? I of course, it's me, bro. Gohan I have questions that. that. You're literally looking Trunks? at my face. Let me introduce Goku's wife. This is Chi Chi. Huh? Who are you? I don't think I've seen you before. Hey, Chi Chi. Uh, pleased to meet you. Krillin, you're all right. Oh, I was worried sick about you guys. Oh, Yamcha. How's Goku? Are there any changes? He's fine. He took his medicine, and now he's sleeping. So you're the guy from the future, huh? Oh, yeah. You're the one that beat the androids, right? <laughs> no. Sorry, but we'll fill you in later. First, we need to move Goku to Master Roshi's place, and fast! What's going on? Two. Actually, three scary androids are on their way here, and they're after Goku! Oh, no, that's not good. Are they gonna come All here? Right. They're gonna see Goku is sick. Dying, so they're gonna fight. Oh, no, now we just wait for Gohan. There he is. Huh? What's everyone doing here? Did, did something happen? We'll tell you on the way. Just get in. Come on, tell us. Have any leads just yet? Do you have any idea where Goku is? Didn't you hear me before? It's more fun this way, taking our time and hunting him down. Regardless, we should still have some kind of game plan. Hey, 16, what about you? You know something, right? Goku's house is located in the mountains in East District 439. So you did know something. You're just full of surprises. Did Dr. Giro tell you that? Affirmative. If we fly, we should arrive in a matter of minutes. I know, right? See, this guy gets it. Traveling on foot is a complete waste of time when you're capable of flying. You're such a whiner. It's going to be more fun this way. <sighs> you know what? You can be a real pain in the neck, Seventeen. We're just about at Master Roshi's place. Hey, Krillin. Yeah? We should probably let Bulma in on everything that's happening, don't you think? Uh, yeah, you're right. So, what does that mean I have to call her? Uh, man. You know, your mom isn't exactly easy to talk to sometimes. <laughs> She's the same in my time, too. Uh, I know how you see the other guy with this child. It's Krillin. Krillin, you're all right? Why didn't you tell me before? Is my son, uh, my future son, there? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. 
Why? What's up? Well, I heard from headquarters that we got a call a few days ago from someone out west in the countryside. They said they found a strange vehicle in the mountains that had Capsule Corporation written on the side of it. I got them to send me a photo, which I then tried to match with a database of our products to see who it might belong to. But it didn't match anything I could find. I thought Trunks might know something about it. It's covered in moss and it looks really old. Would you mind taking a look for me? I'll send you a pic. Wait, this is... Yeah, it's definitely the time machine I came here in. But how is that possible? I've got my time machine right here with my other capsules. I thought this might be a time machine, but what's it doing in a place like that? <clears throat> Do you know the exact location of the time machine? Location, but I do know that it's somewhere out in West District 1050. You headed there? Yes. I'd like to see it for myself. Then I'm coming too. We can meet up near the machine's location. I'd like to help you look for it too. Is that okay? <gasps> of course. Thank you. Go on. Don't worry, Mom. We're not going anywhere dangerous. We'll be safe. Hi, yeah. yeah, yeah.